This video tutorial will provide the application and removal procedure of any Hero Hair facial application system, such as the Berserker Part 5 Tier 1 Custom Facial Chops, seen here, as well as alternate versions or similar product versions, such as the Berserker Part 1 Facial Chops, seen here, and is worn by Hero Hair clients to Comic-Cons across the country. The following tutorial is presented in two parts. One, placement and securing of your facial hair application. And two, sealing of the border lace with spirit gum adhesive for wear. If you have received your product and your scheduled Skype session with a Hero Hair representative already, step one will be familiar to you and how we will begin this process. The video portion of this tutorial, as seen to your right, will depict a standard lace sealing using professional grade spirit gum, as depicted by Alyssa Battersby, Hero Hair's resident wig historian and ventilation specialist, demonstrating with one of our Tier 3 Hero Hair wigs, seen at Comic-Con as the Telepath Part 2, in place of physical chops. The demonstration and the procedure is inherently the same. Should you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Let's begin. Step 1. As per your initial client Skype session and fitting, we are going to perform the physical placement, one at a time, of where the facial hair will be worn for your appearance in character cosplay. This time, however, we will be using the tape not only as a placeholder to gauge the chop's position, but also now as your temporary physical anchor to assist in their spirit gum adhesion to the skin. It is important that you follow these directions, especially the first time, carefully and as directed by Hero Hair. You should now prepare your facial system for the actual application. We'll be cutting away to a short video demonstration in a moment. Remember, we are applying one side at a time. However, we recommend briefly positioning your entire facial system in order for an accurate application later on. You may then remove the second chop to begin the application process. It's important during placement to become familiar with your chop's lace positioning, paying close attention to where it will contour around the face and under the chin. Please make sure to become familiar with this process before you spirit gum. Take as many times as you need and as many attempts as are necessary until you are comfortable. We will be focusing on spirit gumming these two quadrants only on each chop, approximately three inches between the points, which will serve as the facial chop's anchor points, allowing you to then remove the tape from beneath the chop and apply the spirit gum to the remaining lace areas. Use alcohol prep pads or alcohol and a brush to clean all makeup and oil from your face, creating a clear palette for your spirit gum. As Alyssa demonstrates cleaning the face, it's important to note that while this is a wig demonstration video segment, it applies to all facial hair. Please clean any segments of your face that will be covered by the lace as depicted. Once your face has been completely freed of oil and dirt, take your double stick tape and apply it to your cheek, preparing to anchor the physical chop. The tape should go beneath the lace and under the hairline about the middle of your cheek, as originally done in your Skype session, or simply refer to the diagram. Hold the wig by its foundation making sure any contact you have with the lace is as gentle as possible. 
Familiarize yourself with the center of the wig, remembering that your wig may have a side part or no part. Bring the wig to your head and align the lace to your face as shown. Now is the time to make sure your wig is centered. Check that the circumference is flat and that no part of your wig is tucked or wrinkled, emphasizing on the lace. We will now apply the spirit gum to your lace, remembering that we will be focusing on these two anchor points only, and these quadrants will act as your anchor points. Follow Alyssa's demonstration, peeling back the upper portion of the lace while holding firmly against the tape through the chop, applying the spirit gum to your face until tacky. To apply the spirit gum, use a brush or disposable lip gloss applicator. Submerge the brush or applicator in the adhesive and remove excess along the edge of the lid. Make sure you know where application is necessary. In most cases, this means the edges of the lace to make sure the lace is not curling up or shifting. Gently lifting the lace with your fingers or a comb, Apply a thin layer of spirit gum from approximately the temple area to where the lace is trimmed, generally parallel to the bottom of the earlobe. Be sure you are not pulling on or stretching the lace at any time. Apply the spirit gum one side at a time. Use your finger to tap the spirit gum repeatedly until you feel it get tacky. You will know it is time to lay the lace when the spirit gum's consistency is thicker, stringy, and it will pick up your skin while you're tapping. At this point, run your finger along the lace starting from center and lay it over the tacky spirit gum. You will want to use a different finger from the finger you use to tap the spirit gum. Now that you've applied the spirit gum successfully to the upper quadrants of the lace, you may remove the tape from beneath carefully and set aside for future use. You are now free to apply the spirit gum as shown to the rest of your chop, moving in small two to three inch segments, making the skin and spirit gum tacky, laying the lace, and moving to the next quadrant, taking special care under the chin and where any contours may be appropriate. Once you've completed your first chop, move on to the process on the next chop and you are ready to go. Use alcohol or adhesive remover and a brush or an alcohol wipe to remove the adhesive from your face and the lace. Do not use a wipe that you have previously used. You may gently coax the lace to lift, but do so very gently. Once the spirit gum has been de-adhesed, carefully remove in small areas as you first apply, taking great care not to stress the lace in any way. A small video segment depicting Alyssa removing a hero hair wig should indicate the care necessary to remove your facial chops.
down to the dent.